be responsible of, and you know if you are protesting try to do it you know as as positive as you can you know the looting is just too much Dude, i think here's you know? here's a fucked up thing like <laughs> they're like peaceful protesting yeah the cops are showing up fucking ready for war riot gear fucking rubber pellet guns baton in hand no fucking wonder the city is fucking just going nuts yeah like you're sending like this is a protest about police brutality and you're showing up to the party ready for war fuck you yeah dude no, these I, people are going nuts yeah. though raj huh these people are going they're crazy. going nuts because like when when you're doing you're if you're in a peaceful protest if you had cops being like keep on going guys yep you're almost to like wherever you're heading like just move it along but they're showing up looking like they're ready for fucking war with tear gas and they're shooting rubber bullets at people for just fucking because hey curfew starts at four o'clock we're gonna start shooting at you guys Fuck off. Yeah. No, I think it's take a, taking a turn that, mm -hmm. you know, obviously I don't think people really want it. But, you know, yeah. I think it's getting to a point where you're right, Raj. It's and an the, uprise. People are just like tired of the fucking what's been happening. Yeah. And unfortunately, there are people who are taking advantage of the situation. Yes. And they're not part of these peaceful protests. And and there's extra shit. There's extra there's, shit there's, that we're not really. They're like, yeah. They're like, they're like encouraging it. Yeah, exactly. Like there's plenty of stuff on the Internet right now where you're like you're seeing like. You're wondering why. Yeah. Like, why is there a fucking. Pallet of bricks. Yep, yep. Why? Yeah. I'm pondering upon that. Josh Kellis basically, like, watched some dude drop off a bucket of acetone and rags while they're boarding up the skate shop in his like, his town or wherever. And he's like, that's weird. What the fuck is this? That's so insane, man. Insane. Like, there's some... Just, like, trying to set people up going, to just yeah. do some shit. Yeah. And that's just... It's as terrible. long as you keep, see, as long as you or we we are expressing this, that we're seeing this yeah. out there, I yeah. think that's the the because the, then again, I seen somebody like one of the protesters don't fall into their fucking trap. One of the protesters grabbed one of those guys and like kind of like fed him to the cops, mm -hmm. oh. and they got him. Oh wow! And arrested one of them because he was like banging the pavers or some shit. Yeah. And one of the guys was like, "Dude, what are you doing? It's just not what we're about right now." Grabbed Dude. him up and gave him to the cops. There was a hmm. clip wow. of um, a cop slapped a woman. And oh, yeah. a female black officer saw this happen and grabbed the officer and fucking pulled him out of there. Amazing. Mm. I was like, awesome. dude. Yeah, it's like right now you can't do anything, dude. The phones are out. Yeah. People are out. Yeah. Like, so just mm -hmm. I'm surprised as soon as you like, think you're not being filmed, you are. Yeah. I'm surprised like the, the police force hasn't split yet as far as like good cop, bad cop. Right. Because there is a lot of good cops out there. There's a lot of shitty ones. Mm -hmm. And like... Yeah, that's interesting. I I'm saw so, someone, not to cut you off, Raj, because yeah, this was is going off like, point. Like, kneeling. Kneeling. And the, the, the other cop pulling up. him up. Yeah. Bro, like. It's fucked. Yeah, dude. It's like he wants to do right yeah. and show these people that he yeah, you're is sending in the, this You're sending the wrong message by going there with fucking batons, with rubber bullet guns, with shields, full, bulletproof, like fully, like leave that in your fucking police car. Yeah. Serve the fucking public. Mm. Like you're there to protect these people. Mm. I mean, like, I let saw the protests one... happen, whatever else. Like, dude, none of this literally would have happened if they didn't show up fucking dressed to the fucking war. Yeah. Well, I saw one uh, protest when the cops were there and they were like, hey, we're here for you guys. Like, yeah, the one yeah. we'll walk Michigan. with you. Like, yeah. Michigan, yeah. dude, that, yeah. that, was, that cop that was awesome. should be fucking. Yeah, praised. Yeah. And they, I mean, he's been getting, I mean, they've been reposting that shit quite yeah. a bit. So yeah. that's a, you know, that's a right. Tells way. a lot. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly how all that should have gone down. Yeah. Right. This is a protest about police brutality. Hey, cops, think about this. Yeah. But I also think they're fucking scared, yeah. too. Now it's come to the point where, like, yeah. even if you are, like, a, a good cop, yeah. now you're it's kind of scared. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that the bad cops aren't scared now because they should be scared. Yeah. Because now we motherfuckers are coming for them. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah, but these bad cops have to, dude, they have to face, like, all their bad shit they're doing, they have to deal with those consequences. Mm -hmm. They need I to agree. Be, They need to get the fuck out of here, yeah. but they need... The, the good cops need to step the fuck up right now. Yeah. Yeah.